Berlin's Potsdamer Platz, where the Russian sector juts into the western zones, becomes the focal point in the struggle between East and West. The city's American commander, Colonel Frank Howley, inspects the trouble spot where increased Soviet pressure has led to gunfire and kidnapping. A parley between United States and Soviet officers restores calm. For how long depends on the Kremlin. Meanwhile, Western Germany is rallying to the support of the besieged city. An outdoor circus in Essen, for instance, helps to raise money for vital food shipments. Prepared to go all out to aid Berlin, this aerial artist goes all the way to the top of Essen's highest building. Like him, the people of Western Germany know that their future is in the balance, that their fate, like Europe's, depends upon the outcome of the battle for Berlin. Marks are collected by every possible means, showing German solidarity. Thousands of Bavarians raise more money by a charity concert in Munich. Back in Berlin, the Western powers step warily to counter continuing Soviet aggressiveness. General Herbert, the British commandant, makes an on-the-spot survey to check the so often violated British boundary. Measures to clarify the frontiers in the Potsdamer Platz and make them plain for all to see are put in hand. Meanwhile, at the Kremlin, shrouded in great secrecy, Eastern and Western diplomats continue their shadow boxing tactics. Progress seems painfully slow, for the price of peace lies in the heart of Berlin. The Western power's determination is clear. Soviet terror and fear must trespass no further into the Western world.